Now, Android is a highly customizable operating system. The user has complete control over his or her device and can change everything from how the device performs to how the device looks. But did you know that there are a set of hidden options in Android settings targeted towards advanced Android users and developers? It's called as the developer's option. Now, if you had rooted your device in the past or had watched my earlier video, then chances are that you already know about developer's options. But I thought, hey, why not look inside the developer's option and show you some hidden things that your Android device can do. So without any further ado, I am your host HK. Welcome to the Android guy. Now the reason developer option is called as hidden option is because they don't show up in Android settings. You'll have to scroll down to about devices, then tap on the built number six times in rapid succession, which will give you a pop-up saying that you are a developer now. Sounds cool. And when you go back, you'll notice a new tab appear over the about devices tab called as the developers option. Open that up and here you will find a slurry of options. Now depending on the device manufacturer and Android version, some of these options might be missing. Now while most of these are targeted towards developers, but some of these options have a very interesting use. Like the mock location option. Turn that on and now you can fake your GPS location to anywhere in the world by simply downloading a simple app from Play Store called as Fake Location, then enabling your GPS, then you can pinpoint any coordinate around the world and then hit on start. Next time when you share your location on Facebook Messenger or any other social app, the location that you want will be shown, which means you can be anywhere in the world. I mean, at least you can make your friends think so. And next up down the list, we have process start option, which will show you the device memory or the RAM users. And here you can check out what all apps are consuming most amount of RAM on your device. It also shows the current status of your device RAM, whether it's on the low side or whether it's normal. So if you find an app in the list that you don't use much and it is consuming a lot of RAM, then you can also force stop the app directly from here, which will not only free up some RAM speeding up your device, but will also help you save some battery. And further down the list, we have a very small but very cool option called as the show pointer touches option which once turned on will show the touches registered on your device screen which is very helpful if you're screen recording your Android device or if you're casting your device display for a presentation. Again, a very small feature but it can be helpful in the future. And further down the list in the hardware acceleration option menu, you'll have two of the most useful settings especially if you are into heavy apps or gaming. Number one is force GPU rendering, which will render 2D objects on the GPU. If you have an app or a 2D game which is lagging on your device, then turn this on and it will definitely run smoother. But the second option is very cool. If you have a high-end phone or a tablet with great graphics performance and you play 3D games on it, there is a way to make those games look better. By enabling the force 4x MSAA option, games and apps which support anti-aliasing will have a sure boost in performance and will definitely look much better than before. But probably one of the most useful feature in developer's option is the ability to control the animation and transitions of your device. Here you will have three options, namely Windows Animation Scale, Transition Animation Scale and Animation Duration Scales, which controls the speed of how animation flows on your device. Now by default, all of these are set to 1x, but for demonstration purpose, if I crank them up to 10x, then you can already see how slow the things are moving. You can lay back and enjoy the animations, but it seriously affects your device speed. Now turning all of them off results in no animations between transitions, which means no time is wasted between switching tabs, which makes switching between windows and apps lightning fast. But however, I recommend you to set the scales at an even 0.5x, which will make things twice as fast as before, but while still giving you the smoothness of animation effects. Next up, we have one of the most useful option called as Show CPU Users, which will show you an overlay at the top right corner of your device, showing you what processes are running on your CPU and how much load your CPU is taking. And at the very end of the list, we have a set of very cool options which can literally speed up your device and can be a lifesaver for low-end phones. Now first up, we have Don't Keep Activities option. The name itself is pretty self-explanatory. It'll kill an app or activity as soon as you leave them. Now this won't be useful if you are running apps that gives background notifications like WhatsApp or Facebook, but if you have a really slow phone, then this option would be very helpful. And next up is background process limit option, which is basically an advanced version of what you just saw. 
Now Android is a pure multitasking device, but too many background activities can slow down your device. With background process limit, you can set a limit on how many activities are running in the background. Now I personally recommend to set it at an even 4 or 3 processes. But if you have a low end phone or if your phone is slowing down a lot without any reason, then setting it to 2 won't hurt. Now don't set it to 1 or no activities because that will turn your device into this. Yeah. Now the cool thing about all of these options is that they are absolutely safe. They won't harm your device in any way. In case any of these options created an opposite effect on your device performance, then you can always turn them off. So no harm done there. It's always recommended to turn off developers option if you're not using them. So yeah friends, that's about it. If you find this video helpful and interesting in any means, make sure to be the cool guy who give thumbs up to this video. And similarly, do subscribe if you haven't already to watch more interesting videos like these. Until then, I'm your host HK from The Android Guy, signing out. And you guys, have a great day.